RSL Insider presented by at and I'm your host Brian Dunseth. Real Salt Lake back at Spence Eccles Fieldhouse for the first training session of 2012. Yesterday a majority of the players undergoing physicals underneath the watchful eye of Dr. Cooper and the medical staff of Real Salt Lake. Today it's about physical training as well as the dreaded beep test. What are the expectations being placed on you guys as players coming into first day camp? Uh, well, the first day camp is always just, you know, physical testing. We're out here doing fitness, and it's basically for the coaches to gauge where our fitness levels are at to see if we follow the uh, off-season program and basically determine how much fitness we need to do during preseason to get ready, ready for the season. My expectations are, are pretty simple, really. I expected the guys to have done all the work that I asked them to do in the off-season. Uh, and although I haven't had a chance to look at all the, the – data log from the workouts yet. Um, from the looks of things, I think guys were pretty consistent with their workouts. Uh, all the guys take heart rate monitors home that record all their sessions anyway. So I find out what they did and what they didn't do. So I, I always get really good compliance with that. Um, and I think the beef test actually, bear, actually bore that out because we actually had some really good scores on that. I haven't had time to crunch the numbers yet, but they look really good on paper. Just to make sure you know, that I was fit coming in today, they still want us to be fit, of course, and it's always nice if we show them that we're pretty fit in this way. We don't get, don't get crushed the rest of the preseason. The beep is a little tougher mentally. You know, it's, once you get running, it's, it's just fitness. You know, it's, it's not too bad, but the build-up to it, the anticipation is the worst part. Uh, we did a 30-meter sprint. And we did a 5-10-5 agility test, and then we did the uh, intermittent recovery beep test. You know, it's definitely calculated, and, and there's a method to the madness and making sure that we're kind of hitting our peak fitness-wise at the right time uh, going into the season. Uh, well, you know, it's, first of all, it's good to see, you know, familiar faces again. Some of these guys I haven't seen all off-season, so it's, you know, it's always welcome to see old friends. And then this year, you know, it's different from last year. We have a lot of new faces. So it's nice to meet the younger guys, and it's nice to see them come in here and you know push the older guys a little bit and uh, bring in some intensity. So first day, you're still getting to know everyone, feel each other out, and it'll be you'll be able to see more once we get on the ball tomorrow. Because last year we had basically almost the exact same group coming back, and we had a really important match, you know, a month in. Um, so it was important for us to focus on that that first team and, and getting everybody ready. Uh, whereas this year is going to be a little different. There's going to be some more guys coming in that. I'm sure they need to take a look at some guys. They already have, you know, an idea of who's probably going to make the team. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a little bit different feel. And uh, as a player, you just got to kind of go with it.